them in San Diego. And one of these gumshoes could find her. She's traveled in the Caribbean and likes playing the piano. Meet Danielle Wainer. He speaks Bengali and Hindi and collects comic books. Meet Marty Hyatt. She likes reading and biking and has traveled to Florida. Meet Jennifer Vasquez. Nice to see you. Hey, Monty, good to see you. Hey, Danielle, good to see you. Hey, listen, they're with me every day. Rockadella. Oh, yeah. Quick reminder for you guys, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, Chief, who are we after? This is Top Grunge. Top Grunge. Acts crude, smells even cruder. His stuffy nose needs Roto-Rooter. His last known whereabouts... Zimbabwe. The massive black rhinoceros has roamed Africa for 60 million years. Rhinoceros means nose horn, and the black rhino has two that it uses to protect itself. Those horns grow up to three feet long, and that makes the black rhino a target for illegal hunters. The horns fetch a high price on the black market, where they're often sold to make strange medicines and dagger handles. Hunted to near extinction, there are fewer than 500 black rhinos left in Zimbabwe. Until today, that is. Oh, bless you. When the count dropped to none, Top Grunge zipped into Zimbabwe looking for a new gang to ride with. He regaled the rhinos with tales of his travels. So the rhinos decided to hit the road. Then, like a putrid pied piper, Grunge heisted every last horn. Gumshoots. You've got to round up that rhino ruffler and solve today's case. I know why no rhino. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Steve. All right, guys. Trying to find Top Grunge and the rhinos to help you out. We're going to start you off with 50 Ackley Crime Bucks. There they are right there. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. So... Let's get things started now with one of the all-time great detectives, my dad, retired P.I., Gus Lee. Dad, what's up? Ah, not much, son, unless you're in the mood for a little magic. Take a look at this one over here. Here's uh -huh. my leg. Here's my leg. Hey, where'd it go? No leg. Very impressive, Dad. Yes, very nice. But, Dad, this is not a magic show. This is a detective show about geography. Can we have the clue, please, if you don't mind? Is that all, all right? All right, all right. Of course, you know my lovely assistant, Frank. Listen, get to hold my leg. Don't blow the illusion. Uh, look for grudge in a country that was once a British colony. The British helped the people there in disputes with Dutch settlers who were taking away their land. The colony became a nation in 1966. A nation that's completely surrounded by South Africa. Thanks a lot. I'm starting to cramp up. <laughs> so, you still don't think there's any place for magic on this show, huh, son? Uh, no, I do not. Ha! Huh, then where did my lovely assistant Frank go? Disappeared. Why? Magic. You know, I'm starting to get a cramp. Oh, Frank, where's the staff? Ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Ah, ho. Oh. As an example of a man with a little bit too much time oh. on his hands. Baby. Gumshoes, name the place that we're talking about where Top Grunge took the rhinos. Is it Lesotho, Swaziland, or Malawi? Remember the clues that we heard? Completely surrounded by South Africa, former British colony, and became a nation in 1966. This might be a tough one, but what better way to start the show? Everybody's ready. Jennifer, what do you say? I said Lesotho. Lesotho. What do you think, Monty? I said Lesotho. Same thing, Danielle. I said Lesotho. Well, maybe it wasn't that hard. The answer we're looking for is Lesotho. Nice job, everybody. <laughs> Way to start that thing off for our next clue, the one and only, Rockapella. Just around the corner is Rhino. Bound, bound, bound near Lake Erie Gumshoes. Bound, 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 follow that top grunge aroma. You'll find him at the home of a kazoo. Bound, bound, bound. Play the kazoo for me. 
I wouldn't let Kazoo this. If I were you, cuz she's a really Oh, that's nice, very lovely. Whee! If you want to ride over Georgia, come down the road two by two. Where's your hat? Take my advice, follow Top Grunge advice. You'll find them at the home of Kazoo. Oh, very nice. Very nice, boys. Thank you. Come to the name of the city where Top Grunge is taking the rhinos. Is it Eden, New York? Kalamazoo, Michigan, or Rochester, New York. Remember the clues that we heard? It's near Lake Erie, and it's the world's only metal kazoo factory. Personally, you want the host's opinion on this? I think this could be tough. Danielle's ready, so is Monty, and Jennifer's ready. Jennifer, what do you think? I said Eden, New York. Eden, New York. Monty? I said Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kal uh, uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Danielle, what do you think? I said Kalamazoo, Michigan. Same thing. The answer we're looking for is Eden, New York. Nice job, Jennifer. All right, guys, now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. Ah-ha! Look out! It's lightning! Ah-ha! It's lightning! Ah-ha! Yeah! <laughs> Give me your poor, your huddled masses. <laughs> uh, all these are about uh, Top Grunge's new uh, place, which is New Mexico. You didn't see that, did you? Okay, so uh, hands on your buzzers. Give you five crown bucks every time you answer a question correctly. Here is the first question. New Mexico is the largest U.S. producer of the Big Jim and other varieties of this item. Is Big Jim a chili pepper, a huge mutant cactus, or New Mexico's version? Yes, Monty. Chili pepper? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> I had such a good one for that last one. Okay, here's the next question. In 1978, three New Mexicans floated, floated their way to fame by being the first people to do this. Did they? hang glide across the Pacific, cross the Atlantic in a hot air balloon, or swim, uh, Jennifer. Cross the Atlantic in a hot air balloon. He's right, nice job, five for you. Oh man, the last one was so good. Uh, here's the last question. In the, uh, in the 1800s, this wilderness road brought merchants and their trading goods west to New Mexico. Was the road called Route 66, the Cross Bronx Expressway, or the Santa Fe Trail? Uh, Monty. Santa Fe Trail. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Good round for you guys. Close game going here. This is the way we like to see these. Greg, uh, yeah. Would, would you come in here, please? Yeah, Chief, I'll be right there. Let me check with the Chief. I'll meet you guys out in the alley in just a moment. You guys come with me. Chief, what's up? But, uh, there's something wrong with my darn desk. I can't get any work done. I yeah. uh, watch this. Okay. Mm. See? Ah. It does that whenever I try to touch it. Look. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Chief, let me tell you something. It just so happens that I happen to be a board-certified deskinarian specializing in desktop medicine. You're a what? I'm a deskinarian. And I'll tell you what, from what I've heard right now, your desk is in a lot of pain. Well, why would my desk be in pain? It could be, you know, one of many reasons, Chief, but I'll tell you, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to take a look, if you don't mind. Uh, cough, please. <coughs> not you. I'm, I'm talking to the... <coughs> oh, oh mm. this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh, better do the contest or we'll be here forever. Write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. Congratulations to the winners. Lift. Lift. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, Chief. I think I found the problem. You want to uh, come down here and take what? a look? Uh-huh. Here, get that. Here, take a look at this. Right here. See that? It's a nettle. What? Looks like a thistle to me. A nettle or a thistle. The uh, thing I have to do here is the same. <sighs> All right, that should feel better, boy. I want you to go home, stay in bed for three days. What? Why did you send it home? Chief, it just had major surgery. You can't expect it to go right back to work. And I'll tell you what else. I would get a nice get well card if I were you, because everyone knows desks have feelings, too. What? Okay, guys, training exercise time. Everybody step right this way. Pick out one of these trash cans. 
What you're going to do is help us find clues that are going to help us find our crook, and what better place to do that than right here inside this trash can. What you're going to do is this. You're going to take the lid off the trash can like this, and then a little something I learned from my pop. Watch this. Huh? Cool, right? <laughs> uh, you'll find a card like this. On one side, it'll have the flag of the country that we're looking for. On the other side, it'll have a clue on the other side. And uh, then to finish this off, well, let me get rid of this. There's no one in the audience that knows how we're doing that because it's so magical. You will then take this lid and put it back on top of the trash can, okay? So let's see how fast you guys can do this thing. On your mark, get set, go! Here we go! Trying to find that car with a clue and a flag. And don't forget to put the lid back on, the lid back on one. There's the first one. Wait for the second one. Hurry, girl. Hurry, 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 ladies. Hurry, ladies. Hurry, ladies. Trying to find it. Put the lid back on. Yes, yes. Very close. Nice job. We're going to start with Marnie, then Jennifer, and on down the line. Marnie, what does your card city. say? City. I can tell you Marseille is this country's second largest city. Jennifer, what does yours say? Technology. It's home, uh, it's home to the world's fastest passenger trains. And what does yours say? Uh, I can tell you the Alps are located here, okay? So, Monty, you were the first one done with the assignment. You get the first crack at this. What country are we talking about? Is it Germany, Switzerland, or France? Switzerland. Sorry, it's not Switzerland. Jennifer, is it Germany, Switzerland, or France? Germany. Sorry, it's not Germany. Okay, Danielle, is it Germany, Switzerland, or France? France. It's France. Very good. Ten for you. <laughs> that tells us we have something coming in with uh, from Acme Bugnet. Let's check the phone tap. Lunch. Burn rubber to one of the most remote regions on Earth, in a country that borders Afghanistan. Hide with the Hunzakut people in the Karakora Mountains. Uh, mountain biking? All right. But if it's that remote, I might need a cop there. <coughs> Don't worry. They built a highway through this rugged region about 20 years ago. Construction was so tough, it killed nearly 500 workers. Whoa. Hey, Carmen. While I'm hanging with the Hunzakats, what will I do for chow? <coughs> Try apricot. Uh, the Hunzakut people grow 20 varieties of the fruit and use it for everything from cooking to lightening their hair color. Uh, they even extract oil from the pits to use as fuel. What an idea. You think I could get fuel oil out of my pits? <coughs> Ooh, okay, guys, name the country where Top Grunge is taking the rhinos. Is it Iraq? Kyrgyzstan or Pakistan. Remember the clues that we heard? Borders Afghanistan, remote region in Karakoram Mountains, and Hunzakut people. This one could be tough, too. We'll see what happens. Trying to find top grunge in the Rhine. I was pulling up there nice and nice. I know you're ready. Danielle's ready. So is Monty. So is Jennifer. Jennifer, what do you say, buddy? I said Iraq. Iraq. What do you think, Monty? I said Iraq. Iraq. Danielle? I said Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. The answer we're looking for is Pakistan. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Tough break, but we're going to check the score to see where we are. Very close game. Jennifer has 75, Monty 70, Danielle 70, and we just received word that Top Grunge has left Pakistan. So, let's pick up the chase. Ooh, the chase. Uh, always worth five at me, Trimbox. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Top Grunge rustled the rhinos to the country formerly called Burma. Name it. Danielle. Myanmar. Myanmar's right. Then Grunge galumped into the capital city of Vientiane. What country is he in? Monty. Indonesia. Sorry, it's Laos. He rode in a rhino rodeo in Thailand's capital. Name it. Monty. Bangkok. Is right. Next, he herded his way to the Mekong River Delta. What country is he in now, Jennifer? Vietnam. Is right. Grunge stopped into Singapore off the tip of a peninsula. Name it. Danielle. Malay. Uh, Malay Peninsula is right. That means at the end of that round, Jennifer has 80. Monty, 75. Danielle, 80. Big round of applause, folks. <laughs> Close round, and as you know, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. You could have said it, but they sing it so much better. It's time for the final clue of this round, guys, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 at me crime bugs. But before you do that, take a look right over here, because here is a portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our last and final clue then. Wait a minute. I can swear I just heard mowing just then. Howdy. Howdy! Looks like your TV needs some milking. Oh, yeah, you're the guy that does that every morning, right? I sure do, but this morning, I just plumb forgot. <laughs> How long do you think you'll be? Just a minute there, Greg. Well, all right, then. 
Hmm, well, maybe I'll take a little straw, try and milk a few clues along the way. <laughs> hey, a Tupilac doll. They're made by the Inuit people who live in a large Danish possession. They believe that when a sorcerer makes a Tupilac, he can use it to do evil and to harm his enemies. Ha-ha! <laughs> but if the enemy is also a sorcerer, he can turn the Tupilac back against whoever made it. Coming here, Elliot? It's done there, Greg. Why don't you try some of this? Oh, I don't know. I rarely drink television milk. It's very high in fat. <coughs> A lot of people don't know that. Okay, guys, name the island we're talking about where Top Grunge is taking the rhinos. This is the final clue of the round. Is it Greenland, Baffin Island, or Iceland? Remember the clues that we heard? Possession of Denmark, Inuit culture, and Tupilac doll. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Once you have those answers, lay them down the right side in front of you. That's right, Monty. That's it. Jennifer's ready. So is Monty. And Danielle, lay it down the right in front of you. Very good. Monty, we're starting with you. Before you give us your answer, how much did you risk? Greg, I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What did you say, Monty? I said Greenland. Greenland is right. Nice job, Monty. <laughs> Danielle, you have 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. What did you say, buddy? I said Iceland. Iceland is not the answer. You're going to go down 20. Anything could happen, though. We'll see what goes on next. Jennifer, you have 80 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? 30, I risked 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. What did you say? This is getting very interesting. I said Iceland. Iceland is not the answer we're looking for. You're going down 30 as well. That means Monty and Danielle are going on to the next round. Nice job. <laughs> Woo! Jennifer, this is close, buddy. You did some great stuff. We got some great stuff for you. See, tracking top grunge is a dirty job, and you did your very best. As a reward for your accomplishments, you'll head out into the field with the best in Acme gumshoe gear. I'm including an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for all your undercover sleuthing, the new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. Just push the button here, speak into the pen, and record important top secret information. Wow, Chief, this Acme Stealth Pen Quarter is really cool. What? How did he get my pen? How did... Greg? I'm not telling. Okay, guys, remember, Top Grunge is headed to Greenland. We've got to get there fast to do that. We're going to motor ourselves to do that. We have to Greg, hold our... yep. are you and the gumshoes ready to modem? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. That was nicely done. Take a walk right over here. Very good. All right, you guys are there. I'm going to be here, and the Chief will be right up here very shortly with some very important information, so listen, listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay. There are 15 places in Greenland where you might find Top Grunge, The Warrant, or The Rhinos. Let's look at a few of them. First stop, Nook, the capital city and largest town in Greenland's toasty, warm southeast. Summer temperatures here reach a sweltering 50 degrees. Next, Greenland's main business is fish. Catching fish, processing fish, eating fish, playing fish, fishing for compliments. Then, tackle the tundra near Disco Bay. The cold, harsh climate prevents trees from growing in tundra regions, but tundras are home to lots of wildlife, including reindeer, musk oxen, and bears. Well, now you know where Hallmark gets all those pretty pictures for cards. Yep, they shoot them in Greenland. Amazing. They rented this ship and an iceberg just for a Father's Day card. <laughs> no wonder the card cost two fifty. dollars But gumshoes. The only greeting fit for grunge is, welcome to your jail cell. Search him out and rescue those rhinos. Thanks a lot, Chief. We'll do it. You guys know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Monty, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Mount Gunbjorn. Mount Gunbjorn. Whoop, whoop. Good job. Well, for that one first. Okay, nothing there. We turn it back around. Danielle, what do you say? Ice cap. Ice cap. Rhino no show. Nice job. You get the loot. You get a free turn. You're on your way. Arctic, Arctic Circle Boundary. Arctic Circle Boundary. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing there. We turn both of them back around. You did find the loot. Monty, your turn. Ice cap. 
Ice cap. Wino rhino. Go ahead, Monty. I'm sorry? Labrador Sea. Labrador Sea. The warrant. Oh, you have the loot and the warrant. All you need now is top grunge, Monty. Shrimp packing plant. Is top grunge at the shrimp packing plant. Top yeah! Top. Oh, man! Yeah. Nice job, man. One of the things we ever had. Go right around this way, pull on the chain, put him in jail. <laughs> Come right, come right, come right, come right. Stay right there. Excellent. I've never seen it done quite that quickly before. Stay right here. Talk to you just a little bit. Danielle, you did a great job. Uh, we'll talk to you just a little bit. Actually, we're going to talk to you now. Because when I was running, I got a little confused. But we'll keep going. Take a look at this. There's no denying the important help you gave us today. Without your hard work, that crook might still be free. In honor of your achievements, you'll receive this terrific Acme gumshoe gear. Plus two of these amazing acne secret senders. Then you and a friend can secretly communicate through the air. Just type in your message, press this button, and zap! It appears on the other secret senders. It's also a pocket organizer and a control for your TV and VCR. From all of us at Acme, congratulations! Thank you, Chief. That was so fast, man. That was really a great job. Now all we have to do is to find out where you want to go to catch Carmen San Diego and get the trip. What you need for that is this. Portfolio. Papers inside. There's not a pen in there, though. Got to throw you off, didn't I? <laughs> Why? Because it's in my... It's right here. It's in my pocket. Thank you ready? You. You're very welcome. Ragapella. I should have known you were going to pick this one. Very good. Okay, we'll just take that there. We'll get this phone call right here. Okay. Hello? No? Nothing out of the ordinary, really? No? It's just Monty and I. The pen didn't have Velcro, so I used one out of my pocket. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. Yes? He's here. Yeah. Hello? Prison life is so disgusting. I can't believe I have to live in a place this clean. <laughs> Carmen's hiding in South America. <sniffs> Go tell her to spring me. <laughs> okay, Monty, we know where we're going. Let's find out a little more about it. Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. French Guiana. Uruguay. Suriname. Paraguay, Paraná River, Guyana, Argentina, Lake Titicaca, Venezuela, Chile, Colombia, Orinoco River, Ecuador. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> You guys think you can do it? Come on, I think so too. Come on, Monty. Grab yourself a mark. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. You guys cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come with us. Let's go Paraguay. 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 Let's go. Come on. Guyana. Georgetown, Guyana. 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 Do it, buddy. Let's go. Ecuador. Ecuador. Quito, Ecuador. Ecuador. Do it, buddy. Yeah, come on. Colombia, Bogota, Colombia, Colombia. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Try it again, try it again. Colombia, Colombia. Go, buddy, go. Come on, come on. Uruguay, Uruguay. Montevideo, Uruguay, Uruguay. Let's go. Lake Titicaca, Lake Titicaca, Lake Titicaca. Do it, buddy. Yeah. Let's go to Venezuela, Venezuela. Venezuela, Venezuela. Come on. Oh, how many? Seven in 45 seconds. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. You did excellent, man. You were so, so very close. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. Darn that Carmen. She can be really tough to catch. But we're all very proud of the skill you showed today, and we've got just the gift for a gumshoe on the go. 
This acne pocket color television with an active matrix screen. Just think, the next time you're stuck on an all-night stakeout, you won't have to miss your favorite shows. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Excellent job, man. Excellent. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockefeller. Yeah. Well, she speaks around the world from the up to Carolina. Licking finger touch up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on the Gulf of the China. Tell me, This is Lynn Sitson for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And remember, five are the senses you need, four putting crooks on the run. Three chances to fight against greed. To be sure, justice has won. Go get them, gumshoes. Geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.